Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to Bia Me Cosmetics. So today we did a holiday look for you. Um, we did do things a little bit differently. So yeah. definitely pick and choose what you like from both of us and can intermingle them together. We decided to keep a nude shimmery eye and then a bold red lip. So if you want to see how to get this look, please keep watching. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start off a little different today. We're gonna start off with our eyes. So I'm not using any palette in particular. I'm using a palette I made myself with Anastasia Single Shadows. So I think I'm gonna start off with Isabel from the, you know what it is, yep. Master Palette by Mario in my crease. And I'm gonna start off with the shade Birkin in my crease. How's your day going? Next I'm gonna go in with the shade Red Ochre and I'm just gonna make an outer V and then deepen my crease with it. Oh my god, that's so funny, I'm doing the same thing. I lied, it's not Red Ochre, mine's called Red Earth. Mine's Red Ochre. Yeah. I'm just taking whatever's left on that and kind of running it underneath my transition color in my crease. Not all the way in, just to about this, this spot like under my eyebrow here. Okay. So now, on my lovely little finger, I'm going to take from the Modern Renaissance palette, Vertimeter, one of Carly's favorites. It is. It's really hard when you have a long nail stick <laughs> right in there. So I'm just packing it on the inner corner, inner half of my lid. And then I'm going back in with that brush that had the red ochre on it just to blend out the edges. Next, I'm gonna go in with this little MAC flat brush. Yeah. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC. And we're gonna put a shimmering shade. It's called Pink Champagne, I believe. And we're gonna go ahead and pop that all over the lid. I'm gonna go back in with red ochre just to deepen it up. I'm just going back in now with the transition shade brush just to buff out and really diffuse all my edges because you don't want any harsh lines. I'm just gonna go in again with the same brush. I'm not gonna add any more product on. It's when I had red earth on and I'm just gonna redefine just to clean up any sparkles I caught on the previous color. I'm going in with my Sephora Retractable Eyeliner in the color matte black and I'm just rimming my inner waterline. Cool. So I'm going to do things, I'm just kidding, I'm not British. Um, I'm going to do things differently today and I think this time I'm going to start with my concealer. I'm going to start with my face primer. Again, the same one as from last video. The First Aid Coconut Skin Smoothie. I'm going in again with my NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Custard on my Morphe E10 brush. And I'm going to really get under this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my other eye. And I'm gonna go in with my foundation, my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick in Y335. And again, I'm just blending that out with my Morphe M439 brush. I'm going to chocolate. So I like to use the concealer when I do my eyes first to kind of sharpen up that edge. And then you'll see that it's going to give it a nice lifted shape to fix your eye. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral. Today, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NC35. I do have a spray tan. Uh, so you can take a bit more tan finish. I like to just literally put it on my face and then I go back in and buff it out. All right, so after I literally just draw it on my face, I just dab it out first. I think I put way too much on my face. <laughs> I have no fear. We'll make it work. Just, you know, my neck is gonna be flawless too. 
just to make sure my concealer blends in with my foundation and isn't too light. I'm just gonna go back in with my foundation brush, whatever's left over, and just make sure they blend and just go over where I put the concealer. I'm doing circular motions, really blending it into my ears and neck as well to ensure that everything is one color. Now that my concealer's blended, I'm just gonna go with my beauty blender and some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm gonna bake under my eye. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. In my chin. I'm using my mini beauty blender today. I honestly really like this mini beauty blender because it gets right into the inner corner. Um, because we do have that sharpened crease, I'm gonna take this along and kind of stamp it just like that as well. I'm gonna use my Orphe M438 just to brush away my smile lines. Uh, my nose. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm baking everywhere that I put that concealer, plus my nose because I get creased there easily. Take whatever's left on my beauty blender and kind of just dab it on my forehead because they crease there too. So I'm going back in just with a fluffy powder brush and setting the rest of my face so everything else is going to go on smoothly. And I'm going to set the hollows of my cheeks so that my contour will blend. So I'm going in with my, you know, my small mini one. And I got the big one. That. So on my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to put that into chisel. And I'm gonna, Smile sorry. and go. And I'm gonna go into the shade Sculpt with my Morphe R10. And again, we're gonna smile and blend upward. So I'm not taking this anywhere past the middle pupil of my eye because you don't want to really drag your face in. You're really trying to elevate those cheekbones. Then I'm just blending it into my forehead, kind of like a three, and making sure that everything's attached. And again, I have a big forehead, so we're going to bring it into my hairline on my forehead. Just doing the same on the other side. Am I blended? Am I blended? Excuse me. Yeah. 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 I'm going in with my fluffy brush that I set my face up, just to really buff out that translucent powder. And I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to wipe away also under my eyes. Just make sure everything is really wiped away from that translucent powder, because we don't need no flashback mirrors. So I just take my translucent powder brush again and buff over everything that I just did with my contour to really make sure that everything's going to be blended together and you're not going to have any harsh lines. Anyways, I'm just going to use the translucent powder to cut out my contour. We're going to let that bake for a few minutes. All right, so for blush today, I'm going in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Pate. And I'm going in with NARS Madly. I'm taking this in on my multitasker brush from Sephora. It's just a nice angled brush, so you can really hug those cheekbones. So I'm gonna smile, focus it from the back up, doing kind of more of like a dabbing motion and then sweeping it, and then just sweeping it a little bit on the apples of my cheek. And I'm just slightly swiping, or sorry, sweeping on the apples of my cheeks and then bringing it up. I really like the color of this blush. It really ties in with the cranberry in the eye. It's so pretty. Next, I'm going to go in with my liquid highlighter. We have the Anastasia Liquid Glow in the shade Peach Fizz. I'm just going to pop a little bit onto the back of my hand. Is that new? Yes, it is. I'm just gonna pop it on the high points of my cheekbones up into my temple. And use the from the Tardiest Pro Glow. I'm gonna go in with Burst. It's more of a champagne warm undertone. Just on this little fluffy brush. Pack it onto the high points of my cheeks. More of a dabbing motion and then a swiping motion. And then I'm also bringing that into like a V. I'm gonna further blend out my liquid highlight with my beauty blender. Um, while I have it out, I'm gonna take this brush, just using the tip of it with burst, and just go underneath my brow bone to really highlight that and accentuate it. I can't think today. I'm just gonna bring my highlight down the bridge of my nose and just lightly on the tip. 
I'm bringing this all the way from the outside to the inside just to really define that eye. You can see the difference between the two. Slightly on my cupid's bow. And now I'm also gonna go ahead and wipe away my translucent powder under my contour. You always want to make sure on this outer corner that your shadow is connected and then you can just go back in with your oops, with your blending brush and really curve it out. I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line in the shade Red Earth, which is what we used on our other V. I'm going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Original in, I think this one's Black is Black this time. Yes, Black is Black mascara. Just coat my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to give my top lashes a light coat and more of a heavier coat on my bottom lashes and then pop some lashes on. I'm going to go into my Becca Apri Ski Palette and I'm going to use my Morphe M213 and we're going to go into the shade Opal and we're going to highlight the inner corners. Why is there always sirens when we're filming Toronto? I don't know. And we're going to highlight the inner corners and under my brow bone and again I sprayed the brush with some Fix Plus just to make sure that it helps with fallout as well as intensifying the shimmer. Alright, so I have my mascara on and I'm just quickly going to pop on some eyelashes and I'm going to use the Ardell Wispies. I'm going to go ahead and line my eyelids with the Kat Von D ink liner in the shade, I believe it's called Trooper. Trooper. Look at this eye. While she's doing that, I'm just gonna catch up on social media. <laughs> there she go. <laughs> okay, so our eyes are lined, well, my eyes are lined. Our lashes are on, we're both in the Ardell Wispies. So now we're gonna move on to lips. So I'm gonna be bold and uh, just whip out a red lip without any liner. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna whip out the red lip though. Welcome to a lazy girl's way to do makeup. So I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Le Marc Lip Cream in 204 Amazing. And I prepped my lips with the Anastasia Lip Primer. I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick. So I prep my lips so that it's more comfortable to wear as well as stops the bleeding. And I'm going to go in with my Kylie Lip Kit. It's from her holiday collection. And it's the Red Velvet. So we're going to go in with the liner first. Now that my lips are lined, we're gonna go in with the liquid lipstick. Voila! She got lips. Okay, my lips are on, and I'm just gonna finish off my lips with my Morphe setting spray. Because it's a holiday look, I'm gonna use, I don't use this often, I only use it when I really go to special events. My Tatcha Louis, Tatcha, I cannot speak. Tatcha Luminous, I just ate that. Tatcha Luminous Silk Setting Spray. All right, so these are our final looks. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Down and below. don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well at BLE Cosmetics. All right. Bye. For now. <laughs> Techniques, buffing brush, and just <laughs> my laundry's ready. <laughs> Normally, I go right over my lips too, just so that way when I. <sighs> <sighs> Try that. <laughs>